All right, let me open this. Okay, just one sec. All right, so now, now that you're over here, so in real life for number 11, you can write, uh, okay, first of all, you need to erase this one, right? Sugar, okay? And in real life, you can add uh, the word some, all right? Some. Is there some sugar in my tea, right? Or to be grammatically correct, you can say, is there any sugar in my tea cuando usted pregunta va a poner any all right is there any sugar in my tea but you can also say uh, is there some sugar in my tea as well all right si usted quiere ser 100% gramatical no, no sé gramaticalmente correcto va a ser la pregunta is there any sugar in my tea and obviously obviously you need to erase a okay Pero también puede preguntar, ¿verdad? Is there some sugar in my tea? And both are okay, ¿verdad? Pero como le digo, la gramática, is, you know, grammar is sometimes complicated over here. A golden rule. How can you identify or how can you know if a word is countable uh, or, or uncountable? Si se puede contar o, o, o no contar, ¿verdad? O, en otras palabras, si se le puede agregar ese, Es decir, la forma plural, no, the plural form, o la forma singular, singular form, la a or an. Trate de hacerlo plural, ¿verdad? In the, in the case of number 12, Canada is a big country. Now, can you tell me the same example, but using El Salvador uh, as an example, you know, like the opposite. El Salvador is the opposite as Canada, right? It's not big, you know, it's small. Can you say the same example? Replacing Canada for El Salvador. Alguien me ayuda reemplazando Canadá por El Salvador y darme un ejemplo certero, verdad, en cuestiones de tamaño. You know, in case of the uh, case of the, uh, the size. El Salvador is a few country. All right. El Salvador is. Salvador is a few country. Few country. What do you want to say with that, sir? What do you want to say? With little, that? little country. A little country. All right. Yeah. Country. Okay. All right. Good, yeah, you can say that. You can also say El Salvador is a, a small country, All right? El Salvador is a very, very small country. <laughs> okay, nice, because how many countries are there in the world? Many, right? Over 190, or, or I would say almost 200, or 202, or something like that, okay? Uh, the next one in there. So I will meet him in... What's missing here? What's missing here? An hour. An hour. An hour. An hour, correct. An hour, correct. It's an hour. Yeah. The H in English most of the time is, is mute. La H is muda in English. Like, for example, how do you say honestidad? How do you say honestidad, my friends? Like Billy Joel. Song? Like Billy Joel. Honesty. Honestly. Honesty. Honesty, correct. Okay, that's how you say honesty. Uh, now, just to give you a follow-up question, ¿verdad? Para ponernos en, en contexto real. How long is this hour? Is this class, I'm sorry. How long is this class? ¿Cuánto dura esta clase? Two hours. Two hours, correct. Two hours. Yes. You see, we're counting. We're counting this. Two hours. All right? Two hours. Thank you. Where can I, where can I buy furniture? You know, furniture means... Uh, your table, your, table, your, your closet, closet sofa, your sofas, your things sofas, like that. Things like that. So Furniture no, is an uncountable. Yeah, correct. It's, it's non countable. That's right. All right. Where can I buy furniture? Is this correct or should we should we make a change in there? Algún cambio que hacer or should we leave it that way? Or should we leave it that way? It's correct. Yeah, it's correct. correct. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yes, como es una palabra abstracta, ¿verdad? Que, que envuelve eh, varias, varias cosas, como la cuestión de tarea, decimos tareas, you, you leave it that way, all right? Por eso es que no se le agrega la, 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 el artículo A, ¿verdad? Porque esto es algo abstracto que, que involucra más de una cosa, ¿verdad? Muebles es la traducción. Next one. Sure. Yes, sir. Furniture is a plural. It's a plural word, by the way, like children. 
Oh, okay. Like children, okay. correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. 15. So she always carries umbrella with her. What's missing in here? An umbrella. An, an umbrella. An umbrella. An umbrella. An umbrella. An umbrella. Okay. Yes. But what about if I say uh, university? All right. Do we say a university or an university? An. An. All right. So Mr. Oscar says that it's an. All right. But let me tell you, my friends, you, you need to say a university. I'm going to write it down over here. A university. All right. Why? Because the U, right? It's a dig tongue, right? It's like if you're saying you, it's like if you're saying that, right? University. That's the same sound. Or if you're saying this, un dictongo, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso lo vamos a agregar el an, a, el a, perdón, a university, a university. No vamos a decir an university, never. Not like this, my friends. It should be that way. A university. Okay. Thank you. But, but yes, we say an umbrella. Pero si decimos an umbrella. Okay. An umbrella. I'm just so, so, I just so. A bird. A I just saw a bird, right? A bird. Correct. I just saw a bird, right? Nice. So we're done with this. But now there's another uh, practice that I want you to do right now. Let's do uh, this speaking practice, all right? Or a discussion practice. And, and take a look at the questions in here, right? We're going to do this in a breaker room as well. Vamos a hacer en, en una sala reducida también. Okay. Uh, then we have a student A and we have a student B. What you can do is you can divide uh, who will uh, ask the questions from a student A and who will answer uh, student B, for example. Imagine that I'm practicing with Mr. Luis Armando Leiva. I'm, I'm, imagine that I'm practicing with you, sir. Okay. I'm going to be a student A and I will ask you question number three. You don't have to uh, ask the questions in order, all right? You can start with any number uh, that you want to, all right? So for example, Mr. Mr. Armando, I will ask you question uh, number seven, okay? Number seven. And you just have to tell me a number or you, you can tell me I don't remember or, or I don't know, okay? Okay, Mr. Luis. Yeah. Can you repeat, please? Teacher? I'm going to ask you question number seven. All right. How many books or magazines did you read last week? All right, but, uh, but give me time over here. I'm going to ask you. Yo le voy a hacer la pregunta si gusta y usted me va a responder. Luego usted me hace una de la parte B. Yo le respondo yeah. si gusta. It's rain. It's rain. Oh, okay. Es okay. escucho. All right, okay. Let me see if I can do something. Number seven, sir, answer to me, please. How many books? Or magazines did you read last week? Answer me, please. Si me ayuda contestando. Okay. All right. Well, if you want to say no, ninguna puede decir no. All right. Si puede, okay. And then you say three books. All right. Books. Nice. Okay. Three books. Como dice ningun, o ninguna, book. dice no. No. Okay. All right. No. Son dos cosas distintas las que estoy poniendo aquí. Pero si usted quiere decir que no leyó nada, va a poner no, ninguno, ninguna. Y luego si ya leo, no se leyó magazines, que son revistas, va a decir two magazines, and you specify which ones in there, right? Okay, uh, or one magazine. Or one magazine in there, right? Okay. And now, sir, could you ask me one of these questions in here? Ahora su turno. Hágame una pregunta, por favor. A ver, casi no escucho. Voy a intentar. <laughs> Voy. Um, how much time do you usually spend to come to class? All right. Um, I don't spend 
uh, <laughs> anytime at all, all right? No, de hecho, no, nada, porque aquí <laughs> trabajo desde casa. Because <laughs> okay. I work from home. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. But in your case, you're working at, at, a, at your company and then you have to drive back to home, right? To take the class. Mm -hmm. In that case, you can tell me I spent two hours driving. You can say that to me. Usted puede decir, yo manejo por dos horas para llegar a casa and then, you know, to have the class or something like that. But in my case, sir, I don't spend any time at all, at all para nada. Estas palabritas, at all, okay. significa oh. para nada, at all, to come to class. All right? Okay. okay. Otra pregunta. All right. Yes, sir. Go ahead. How much cost for did you eat this morning? <laughs> uh what's the number sir five ah, food five. okay how much food did you eat this morning let's see i i ate a lot i would say i ate a lot like four uh uh i don't know like five pieces of bread all right that we call frances <laughs> no no no. I, I actually had like four pieces of, of, of bread and then a regular breakfast with uh, scrambled eggs, fried beans, a piece of cheese, and, and some coffee, all right? Yes. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> I, I hope it's not too much. Espero que no sea demasiado. All right. Bueno, ahí me está ya mirando mi Susana Margarita y me dice, mm, A little bit, teacher, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit, right? <laughs> Yeah, va a pasar la factura también. <laughs> okay. Nice. So it's starting to rain over here. I'm going to send you to the breaker room so you can practice student A and student B in there. Okay? But before I do that, I'm going to share this with you. Antes que se me olvide, voy a compartirles el documento para que usted lo tenga a mano. All right? One second, please. Antes de que se vaya la luz, ¿verdad? <laughs> No, ni quiera Dios. <laughs> it happened yesterday, right? For a couple of minutes. We lost connection. Okay. Hold on, please. Um, here we go. And, and please try to give complete answers. No solamente digamos sí o no, verdad? O me comí dos pupusas. I mean, you can say more details in there. All right. That's the idea, all right? That's the idea. The, do the document is being sent to you right now. Se está enviando el documento en este momento. Okay, it went through. Ya, ya se envió. I'm going to open the breaker rooms right now. En estos momentos abro eh, los grupos uh, reducidos. One second. I think it's raining everywhere, right? Creo que está lloviendo en, en todas partes, right? It's raining yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I see that. Okay. There we go. Please. So please join the room. Thank you. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Oh. Oh. Okay, too. Hey, this is a great team. I see that. All right. It's a great team. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. And the three answer the same question, right? Yes. Okay. If you want, I can be the student A. Susie is student B. And after that, we can change with Alphonse. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Susie, how many brothers and sisters do you have? You, your microphone is muted, Miss Miss uh, Hernandez. Right. Sorry. I have one brother and one sister. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How are you? So how many students are there in class today? No, but you have to... Do student B questions. The, the second part. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I can see that. 
How much clothing did you buy last month? <laughs> I didn't buy any clothing last month. Okay. It's so okay. bad, Carmen. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How uh, maybe this students? month, right? Maybe this month. <laughs> this month. <laughs> How many students are there in class today? Your, your microphone is muted again, Miss Susanna. I think uh, 20 people, 20 students. Yeah, like around 20, you may say around 20 yeah. students. Right, okay. yes. Around 20 students. Around 20 okay. students, yes. Okay. How much crime is there in your town or city? Oh, okay. And I don't know, maybe it's uh, a lot of crime lot because of crime. it's okay. uncomfortable. Yes. Okay, how many pets do you have? I will decir recording in progress. Wait. Will decir come on, how much clothing did you buy last month? Mm. Number one. Yes. The answer is mm, <clears throat> 